We asked a few of Todd Takahama's family members and friends to share their remembrances. What we got was more than 50 people who came to remember a man they knew as a tough little league and Pop Warner coach and to support his grieving family. When I first came here, I was kind of shocked because I only expected like three people. <laughs> then I seen everybody and I was very grateful that he touched everyone's lives. All these people who came to show support for Takahama's wife, Dina, their two sons, their daughter, and three grandsons, who came on short notice to share their thoughts just two days after Takahama was killed when his small truck crashed into a light pole. In honor of our coach, um, we wanted to wear our jerseys tonight to show that we did appreciate him every single way, every season, and just every day of the life that we was with him. These are the boys of his last baseball team before he retired from coaching in 2017 after 13 years. That was the year he led the Eva Beach team to be Hawaii Junior League champs. Many of them had had him as a coach for eight, even ten years. Uh, he always gave it to you straight. He would never beat around the bush, and I know the boys can back me up on this. He would always want the best out of you. But he also had a reputation of sorts. He wanted my son to play baseball for him. And at the time, I'm like, no, I don't want that coach. He's a mean coach. <laughs> what changed your mind? I see, um, you know, he's teaching what he wanted. You know, he wanted to see boys play baseball, good, good baseball. He was just always mean to us, but that grew on us. And as the years went on, we learned to just love that and adapt from that. And that's what brought out the best in us. They remembered things like his favorite song, Brick House by the Commodores, which he would play after each victory and was played tonight. The outpouring of support overwhelmed his wife, who shared what one of the parents had told her. She was saying, Dina, the impact that Todd had on the boys and the family, he touched a lot of lives. And I didn't know that. He was just a coach, a husband and a father. That was it. And I appreciate all you guys. There's still no cause determined for the crash, although police have ruled out speed as a factor. Services are pending. Ben Gutierrez, Hawaii News Now.